Oh, well then you should be able to hear me too. Although it's way behind, if you have both of them up, it's way, way behind where it should be. <laughs> Crystal Maria is watching too. Hi, Crystal. I'm messing around with it in case anyone else is watching. How do you find out um, who is working and stuff? Or who is watching? Because I see none of that. I, I don't see any of like the comments or anything. And let me know, you guys, if you're getting an echo. So what parts do I close so I don't hear myself constantly? Oh, Teresa's on too. Hi, Teresa. I don't know how to get this to back up, but it's on my end, it's really cloudy. Hi, Justine. I don't have anything planned, but hey, let me get my purse. I'll show you what I made yesterday on Rosa's stream. Rosa helped me get live on Ustream, and all kinds of people are joining in. I don't have anything planned, but hey, let me get my purse. I'll show you what I made yesterday on Rosa's stream. Boy, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Kind of has a 3D effect. And I put a little bit of glitter and a little bit of... Uh, there we go. These, oh, you asked if these were acetate. Um, this was actually a print off. Let me see if I can find another one. So I made three prints like this. 
three of each one, and then I cut and layered so that it looked 3D, but I can't find the other butterfly one. Oh, here it is. I found it. So here's what it originally looked like. I really feel like this is not clear. There we go. And this is what it ended up as. So there you can see um, these were the different colors of distress inks that I used. Peacock feathers, salty ocean, and dusty concord. Okay, when I muted the wire cast, then I could hear nothing, nothing at all. Share five of my faves, okay. Oh, that I use in crafting, okay. I don't know how to move the settings so that you can see me, so like I have to keep backing up. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. This is one of my favorites. It's a fine tip applicator for glue, and all I do is put Aline's. My computer volume. Okay. But you guys can still hear me? No, if I turn my computer volume off, then I hear absolutely nothing. Okay, so you're saying that if I turn off my computer volume, I can't hear my myself playback, but you can hear me and the echo's gone. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> okay, so then you really feel like you're talking to yourself because you don't hear yourself. Rosa did tell me that. Thanks, Rosa. Okay, so here, what I was talking about was this, and I ordered these from Super Fine Tip. See that? I ordered these from Tilly's Bridge online. It's www.zibit.com backslash Tilly's Bridge. T-I-L-L-Y Tilly's Bridge. Anyway, I really love this. I fill it with Aline's Tacky Glue this one, the original tacky glue. I store everything upside down so that I don't have to worry about it not coming out later when I need it. Or turbo tacky glue, whatever kind of glue you want. And then I water it down just a tad. 
You can also order that same thing online. I think those are like $7 a piece. Um, so here's the other one that if you order online, you can get these really super cheap. These are the Daris brand. They're also an ultra thin. I've given some of these away, so some of them are gone, but um, they're not as high quality. This is what they look like. And they have a little pin in theirs as well. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but the pin's not exactly straight, so it scrapes as it goes up. So they're not super high quality like the Tilly's Bridge one, but if you're looking for something that's really, really inexpensive, these also work great. And you get four of them. I don't remember how much it was, but there's four of them in a, in a, in a case, I guess you'd call it. Dari's Toolbox. Cool. I really like those. Okay, so that's one. Um, the other thing is scissors. I use a lot of scissors, but I really like these Fisker scissors because this part right here is non-stick. So that's awesome. The non-stick ones because I use a lot of this. So maybe this will be number three. I got, I get this, well, I used to get this at the dollar store. If you watch my videos, I've mentioned that where my sister lives up in Manaqua, there's an Ace Ace Hardware slash dollar store. It's all connected. And these are only a dollar a roll. But they stopped carrying them because they couldn't get them or something. Um, but I ended up I ended up finding them in Phillips, if you're familiar with Wisconsin, um, in their liquidator store. So yay, I have more of them now. Ooh. <laughs> um, so that's three two more things huh okay I couldn't do anything without this this is the camera the Sony Cybershot I've had it for years my mom and I both got one for Christmas one year from my dad and 8.1 8 megapixels anyway I use this to take all my photographs of everything of my nails of um yeah, I'm waiting for everything to clear up in here. Anyhow, my nails and my cards, everything. So here's a really cool card that I just made, and I'm going to do a video on this one. It's a triple slider. Cool, right? Totally love that. So anyway, I'm going to do one of those, and then um, I just watched Dawn do one of these kind of cards. So I may do a tutorial on them. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that one's kind of cool. So where am I at? Four. My camera was my fourth. And then I would probably have to say <clears throat> all my all my stamps. I have, you guys, I must have tens of thousands of stamps in this room. Tens of thousands. Like, I haven't even used them all. It's insane. I use my CyberShot for my videos too, and they're 10 times clearer than this, than this webcam. If we could get, if anybody could give me um, information on a webcam that's better. Right now, what am I using? A Logitech HD 1080p. That's all it says on it. Um, I really thought this was going to be the bomb, and it's not. It's just, it's not as clear. It's not as clear as this when I do videos. There's no comparison. I, I'm hoping to get something better and a better lighting system and all that goodness. So um, big thanks to Rosa for getting me started today. I had no idea there'd be an audience. That's pretty cool. So um, let's see what else. I'm trying to follow um, comments too. Let's see how much the price range is for the camera. I think this cam you mean this camera? This camera is oh my best guess is maybe it was three three hundred dollars, three fifty maybe. Um I also have another tip for this camera for somebody said they have one similar to this. I went out and bought online these batteries that fit in it. Okay? They're called Progo. Look it up on Amazon. It was like so, so astronomically 
tiny of a price. It was like $5 for one battery instead of like 35 in the store or 50 or whatever it is they want to charge for those. And they fit in the Sony charger, but they also send you a charger. So you can get this Pro Girl with a charger for like five bucks. And then you constantly have batteries to switch out with and it doesn't cost you hardly a thing. That That is the biggest tip I could give you if you're using a camera like that. Incredible prices if you just look them on. I am a huge Amazon shopper. Logitech C920. I'm going to write that down, Rosa. Thanks. I'm going to write that down right now. C920. Because yours looks so clear when you do yours. Logitech. I think that was five things. <laughs> what else do you guys want to see? Oh, here, I'll show you some flowers I've made. Before the summer started, I started dabbling in um, fingernail polish wire flowers. And I don't know how clear this is going to come out. But I'm hoping you can see it. There we go. Those are kind of cool. And then there's a, here's a pink one. Justine said, welcome my camera. Is Cybershot G? A Sony Cyber, a Sony Cybershot G? Or are you talking Logitech? I'm, I'm a little confused. I didn't put a center on the red one yet, but. I really like that one. It's really cool. Thanks, Rosa. I like the flowers too. They're really putsy. I don't know. I'm kind of like um instant sat satisfaction kind of <laughs> kind of person and they take they take a while to create. Yeah, that was my first attempt. Those those are still from that first attempt video. Those flowers. Oh, let me show you something else that's really cool. This is not crafty, but I used it all summer with my sister. We found these headsets on Amazon. Okay, they're, what's it say? I have it upside down. It's called a Sport MP3. Well, show up there, dear guy. Anyway, it says Sport MP3. It's got three little buttons on this side. Has anyone seen these before? Um, it's like a volume up, volume down. Man, you can't even hardly see those buttons. Volume up, volume down. Here, let me put it on my head. <laughs> Anyhow, um, it holds this teeny tiny disc right here see that and then you put ro you put stuff on it okay rosa see ya thanks for getting me set up i'm just gonna putz on here as long as anybody wants to chat and then um i'll close down and do i'll set up and do something fun later <laughs> um anyway and then there's a, a charger a little plug-in and a charger which is really similar to a lot of phones these days so probably have one laying around and you just put it on behind your head and tuck it in your ears and it just hangs there hands-free wireless um, you can play radio on it how much how much do you think that this would have costed I'm gonna give you guys a second because this is like really like it's like a whole minute lagged behind what um how I'm when I'm talking what I'm saying and when it comes out on YouTube to me it's like a whole minute behind what I'm saying so I'm going to give you a second
I have a question about this. Ooh, Copic coloring. Um, good guess, Justine. Justine says twenty dollars. Thirty-five dollars. If if I told you you could get this for a lot less than even twenty dollars, would you want one? They are awesome. I totally love it. Any any more guesses? I'm giving you some time to maybe one more guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> Seven dollars. Seven. That's it. Go on Amazon and look up MP3 Sport. Seven bucks. <laughs> Seven. That not that awesome? Okay, so that's like one of my best finds ever. Totally love it. Oh, Justine, you got close with 10. Um, what else? Oh, back to Copic coloring. Let me show you how many Copics I own. <laughs> That's it. These are the Copics that I own. Um, I do a lot of coloring of images. I wish I had one here. Oh, my. Here, I'll give you a sneak peek into the one that I'm using on my next card this weekend. I, I did Copic color this. Um, get her to clear up. Oops, dropped her. There she is. Okay, so I did color her. But I didn't use Copics. I use Spectrum Noir. So, yes, I would love to do some coloring with you guys. I use Spectrum Noirs, and I have a whole bunch of different kinds of them. The circle ones. The, these are like all the older ones. They don't have the um, brush tip like the Copics. But I, this is how I started out coloring was with these. So, you know, you get this little nub tip here. Not the brush. It's, you know, it's a lot shorter. And then you get the chisel end. And that's it. That's just how they come. And I just learn to color with them. And so that's what I use. I have tons of them. If I could flip my camera around, you could see the three bins that I have. I have over a hundred of them. And I'll, and quite a few of them are repeats. And that's okay because some of the colors I've used, I've just totally used up. But anyway, that's the little girl I'm using in my next card. And that one's going to come out this next weekend, the 20, let me look, the 29th. The 29th will be my next one. Oh, good. Teresa's got spectrums, too. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I'll probably do um, a day where we just make background papers using stamps. This one I did last night. I used, uh, of course, this black stamp. And I think I already put that one away, but let me I can show you the other one. This clear stamp from Hero Arts. I used this like oblongy circle one to stamp right over the top of it before I added any ink so that I knew those parts would stay white. And then I, of course, did clear embossing powder over all these round dots, and then I inked. So you can see if I, if I shine it right, you can see that some the white parts are shiny because they've got clear embossing powder over them so that it would resist the ink when I put it on so that some of it would stay white. Derwent pencils, colored ink tents. I do have a set of ink tents, too. I did, I have this set. I think there's 24 of them. Yeah. I'll show you the cover. I'm still learning how to use these really well. 
there's 24 I think you can get 72 I would love the 72 but well they're expensive hi Sharon um I guess there's not much that I wanted to say about that. Oh, yeah. What I was going to say is that card that I showed you earlier, that triple triple one, I, I did these birds in, with the watercolor. I did them with the ink tents. So they're watercolored. So when I'm doing my videos, I have to put things really close in order to get them and then like back them off kind of to get them to look really clear. And then, um, but on here it seems when I'm streaming, if I hold things back further, they clear up better. Yeah. Good. Note to self. <laughs> Note to self so I know how that works. Put this away. There's another really cool thing that um, I have invested in. It's also watercolor. Which stamps, Teresa? Oh, 72 in all three collections. Okay. I'm catching up on comments. Are you talking about the, what is this, Hero Arts? The Hero Arts stamps? that aren't in your area I'm trying to get these open anyway have you heard of um, peerless peerless watercolors this is the bonus pack but they're smaller oh the crazy birds yeah you can order them online. So when you look at these, ugh, okay, they don't look like a lot of really cool colors. But on the back of them, these are what the true colors are. Totally cool. And these last forever. I could cut these down into probably quarters, into fours, and make four different sets, and it would last forever. Peerless are incredible. I'll do, I would love to do another um, live stream or video on the Peerless because those are cool. That was the bonus pack and this is like, what is this? It's called the Complete Edition. So these are not square like the bonus pack. They come, they're not glued in. So let me see if I can show you one. They're just kind of tucked in here by color. Okay. And then as you turn the pages, there's a different color on each page. These also could be cut down. And I intend on doing that so that I have a, I want to cut them down into little squares and then put them all, you know, arrange them all on a piece of paper so that I can access all the colors at one time. But then I would put a little swatch underneath it so that I knew exactly what color it is because like I showed you, they don't, they don't look like the color they're supposed to. I ordered my Peerless online through, I don't recall, the company. All I did was type in Peerless watercolors cheap or on sale. And whoever had them the least expensive, that's where I ordered them. Hi Jess. She's playing with her peerless colors right now. That's awesome. What is the color on the paper? And I'd like to see how you do that. What I mean by that is to take, you know, I'll kind of give you an idea. Um, if I'm understanding your question right. So I would cut off a piece of the peerless watercolor and I would get some kind of a place for it and I would glue it right on there 
and then underneath it right here I would paint what the color is and then probably write the name and I would do a, a, a swatch like that. Does that make sense? That's, I'll, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll show that one online when I do it. I probably would use either cardstock or watercolor paper, something white so that it would show up each color really clearly. Whoa, I told, okay. He doesn't like white. The camera doesn't like white. Jesse just subscribed. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Jess. Welcome. Yeah, summertime's been insane for me, too. I've been um, up north cleaning houses with my sister to lose weight. Um, maybe I'll do a before and after shot. It's quite incredible what um, just cleaning can do for your body if you're eating well. Best white stamp pad. I can show you the white stamp pads that I have. Um, I have this tiny little white one that I keep. It's a color box. If you guys have better ideas, chime in. I don't use white a lot, but this is a pigment brush pad. Frost white by color box. And I've had it for years. Literally, it's been sitting on my on my counter here for years. And um, it's still soaking wet. I mean, I hardly touched it, and my finger is covered in white. Um, if you want one that's not going to dry out on you, I have never had this dry out. It's incredible, and it's tiny. I don't know. Um, the other one, let me see. I can show you how my Close to My Heart White Daisy has fared. So this is a Close to My Heart ink. It's a pigment-based ink. And I've had this one for probably 10 years. Still white. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh, how exciting that you're here. I can't believe how many people came out today. I mean, I didn't, I, okay, so Rosa had a live feed um, yesterday and I loved it so well, I asked her how to do it. And she showed me how this morning and she's already gone. So I hope she does come back. Um, yeah, I know the white. Okay, so anyway, this one is a good one too. I mean, I literally had this. No, this, I probably had this for 15 years, you guys. 15 years. The one thing I like about these is that they automatically store upside down. I'm wondering, do any of you guys store your, um, your distress inks upside down? Because as you know, when you take off the cover, they're not upside down. So the ink isn't at the top. Let me know if you guys store yours that way. I haven't been. I just store them, you know, standing straight up because that's how they, how they sit. I have Stampin' Up, but I don't have Stamping Up White. Um, I think I have a Stays On White too. But I hate stays on because no matter what color you get, you constantly have to keep re-inking it and re-inking it and re-inking it. But if you need a color that's going to stay on, as the name says, I mean, it's great. My goodness, my hair is just awful. I, I did not intend on having a, a video and sharing stuff and whatever. I just turned it on, like like I said, because, um... oh, you don't. Okay, thanks, Jess. She doesn't store any of her inks upside down, and she has never had an issue. Awesome. Well, you don't have to store them upside down. I just heard that if you store them, up, them upside down, blah, 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 that the ink will stay towards the top of the ink pad better. But like she said, she hasn't stored them upside down. Um, yeah, I, I do store all of my stamping up inks upside down because when I bought them, I bought 50 of them at once. Some lady was giving me an awesome deal. They, it was like $40 for 50 stamp pads. It was insane. I met her at Rocky Road, go down the road and bought them all. 
And um, I just automatically, because they were the old ones, flipped them all upside down and labeled the sides of them so I knew exactly what they were. Coffee time. Yes, bring back your coffee. Join us. I am drinking um, raspberry iced tea. You know those little squirty things you can get to add to your water? Um, I get the ones from Aldi's. They're like $1.99 for the little squirters and you can just add them in. So sippy sippy. I don't know if anyone watches that gal. What's her name? Oh, terrible on me. Terrible on me. I can't think of her name. But she's always like sippy sippy. Oh, Jess, you've only been crafting for about five years. I, I'm trying to think how long I've been crafting. Probably my whole life, but really, um, wow, hardcore crafting. How long have I been crafting? I don't know, maybe 10 years, 10, 15 years. What else can what else can I share? What else do you guys want me to share? Do you want me to hang out with, with you for a while or or have you had enough? <laughs> if you've had enough, tell me I can just cut her off and we could start on back later when I'm more organized and I have something to, to actually show you. The unicorn white. I've never heard of that. Yeah, me too, Crystal. Me too. She had three brand new boxes with 12 full-size ink pads in each for 50 bucks. That's awesome. Okay, so the Unicorn White is from by Hero Arts. Is That must be an ink. I've never heard of it. Dee Dee, you make me laugh. You're awesome. Oh, I am only 28, too. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm 30. We can go with that. I'll, I'll be 30 for a while. <laughs> I probably have told everybody what my age was in one video or another. I'm not, I'm really not that shy about it. But, uh, yeah, I'll take 30. <laughs> oh, Crystal's only been crafting since March. Go, Crystal. We're behind you. No, I totally believe you, Jess. I was I was fun in on myself. I'm a lot older than that. I like to pretend I'm not though. Does anybody know where I go to find out how many people are actually here? Oh, I think maybe I found it. Oh, we've been doing this for 40 minutes. Ow. Six people are here. Thank you to all six of you who showed up with no, with, <laughs> with no, uh, no warning, no, no nothing. Oh, 50 is the new 30? Oh, well, all right then. I'm not quite there though. I used to have Skype. I don't have it anymore. But yeah. I think, well, yeah, I don't think I have Skype anymore. Let me double check. I, nope. I don't know. I must have, I must have not, I didn't keep it when I got my new computer. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jess is. 75 year old aunt went skydiving a few weeks ago. Ooh, that's one brave lady. I've never wanted to do that. Skydiving, um, bungee jumping, what are those other crazy things like that? Here's 
of brushes that I use for my watercoloring, if you're interested. Got this one and a red one, if I can find my red one. And it went. The difference is in the tips. So one is just a little bit thicker and longer. I like them both. And I got these like literally 10, 15 years ago. Um, I can't remember what store, but I only paid like a couple bucks for them. And there were three or four of them. These are the only two I have left. I think the other one was blue. Maybe there were only three. The other one, anyway, the other one was blue. And now they're like $10 a piece. I just, I can't fathom that, how much they cost now. It's incredible. But I really like these. And they're just, they're just a generic pen. And right here on the side, right here, eh, you can't even hardly read it anymore. It says push. Yeah, there it is. Right there. And all you do is just squeeze right there. And then the water comes out the tip. Oh, you got a notification? So even so you can just turn it on and go live and people get notified? That's neat. I had no idea. Thanks for sharing that with me. But I now I know. No wonder why people are here. <laughs> so does anyone know that if you do one of these live stream events, is it does it become permanently in your feed? Can you delete them like you'll delete anything else? Mica flakes in your project. Yes, I have. Not nothing recently, though. Um, let me go. Let me grab my drawer and see if I still have them. I think I do. I'm gonna lower you guys down so you can see what's in this drawer. Okay, so this is like my glitzy drawer, my glitz and glam. Um, she's talking about mica flakes. That's, those are these. Aren't they cool? I think I have a bunch of different kinds. I have a big old stamp pad in here. I'm not sure why. Here's another one. Here's another one. I got a set of them at one point. So they all have different, they all have different colors. Are there any more in here? I also use all this kind of stuff in my fingernail painting too. Not the micas though, they're kind of big. Well, here's the last one. Here it is. So that's pretty cool, huh? You just, um, the way I use them is I sprinkle them on and then put UD over the top. Happy Sunday to you too. Hi Phyllis. Thanks for joining us. Um, and then I put UD over the top or clear embossing powder and then I heat from the bottom so they don't fly around and then they get adhered to the project. Really fun. You do the same thing with glitters too if you don't want those flying around. Heat from underneath your paper instead of on top. So I have this ugly old stamp pad because there's nothing on it. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to make your own stamp pad? You can add whatever inks you want. And I finally got some Twinkling H2Os that people have just been going nuts about. And I haven't even opened them up yet. So I will have to do an image with one of those. with you guys sometime. Looks like I've got three packages of them. I got a really good deal on those. I must have. <laughs> right? I must have. Because it got a whole bunch of them. Okay, I'm going to go put this drawer back. That's like one of my most exciting fun drawers ever. Super, super cool.
cat and girl. Thanks for joining us. So if I don't say your name right or you want to be called something else, always let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to call you by whatever's name, whatever name appears on the screen, unless I know you personally. <laughs> and I know your name and I can call you by that and you're okay with that. Let me know. So this was an unscheduled very first live event. I had nothing to really bring to the table today other than um, I was checking it out to see how it would turn out. Trying to get some feedback. Oh, yay, Crystal, I'm glad you found it. She did not know that there was chat room. I didn't either. I was. I just found out yesterday. And look, I'm already live streaming. So if I can do it, you can do it. Hi, Michelle. Burlap. I, I don't use a lot of burlap. <laughs> so I hate to repeat myself, but um, I've got a couple of different ideas to do with you guys. And here's one of them. It's backgrounds. If you haven't seen that, if someone hasn't seen that yet background papers. Um, Rosa did ATCs yesterday. Rosa Aquino and she is a fabulous artist and I did this one along with her. Uh, she did completely different things with hers on her live stream and she did antique like these little fairy girls just adorable and I did these. I This is how it looked when I printed it and then I changed it into that, putting it on an ATC card, just an ATC blank that actually Rosa sent me. And then I put a little bit of uh, gold around the outside, and that is this, Rub and Buff. I know there are other ways, and you can like use regular paint and stuff to get that gold color, but back, I don't know how long ago it was, Rub and Buff was like the big big to do about rub and buff so I went out and bought myself gold and silver rub and buff but it this can be really messy and it's oily and it can really get on stuff so if you use paint that's probably better paints probably better than that um, or an ink pad of course but I really thought this turned out cool I had a fun time making that I have two other ones that I may be creating so I've got um, the red flower and the white rose <clears throat> that I could do. I also have a couple of other flowers. Oh, let me let me think of what name it is. What she goes by. It's I want to say it's Maxim Maid, but her name I think starts with her husband's name. Uh, but Maxim, her name is Ginny, I believe, and Maxim Maid. She gives out these type of images. Um, on my Facebook page, which is Koala Tea Crafts. Koala, like the bear, tea, and crafts, quality crafts, um, on YouTube. And then she has her own site, too, but she'll post them on there from now and again. And then you can go and get those for free. She gives out free images, which is really cool. So I could always do some watercoloring of those as well. My biggest thing, though, is making cards that move. And this is a three-tiered slider that I'd really like to do. Uh, I got that from dawnstampingthoughts.net.com. I can't remember which one it is. Dawn Stamping Thoughts. I have been following her probably, I don't know, as long as I can remember, like 10, 20 years. Like, seriously, like, she is the best. If you go to her YouTube and look up her videos, she does tutorials on everything, and she's amazing. I'm going back to work next week. Um, I work in a school district, which means I work every day, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 3.30. So most of my live streaming will be on weekends. I hope that works for you guys. Um, I know Rosa is going to be doing Saturdays at like 
3 p.m. Eastern, which I'm central, so that's two here. Um, so I will not infringe on her. She's one of my best friends. Um, so maybe I'll stick to Sunday or um, a different time on Saturday so then not impeding with hers because obviously I want to watch hers too. So I don't want to miss it. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'll probably do. Have you guys seen um, the glue tip for these? I have not done it yet, but I guess you put it over the top of these kind of bottles. And that way it won't dry out. I mean, not over this whole thing, but you get the, you get the point. Anyway. And then it comes out in a tiny little stream and doesn't get uh, doesn't get hard and doesn't get clogged up on you. I have not tried it yet, but I still have this sitting around, which probably looks odd to some people coming into my craft room. Bye, Dee Dee. I'm glad you could make it. See you next time, hopefully. And I'll have like a topic and, a, you know, let you know in advance. Oh, what else? What else can I share with you? Oh, now that we're going into fall, I should probably start pulling out some of my winter stuff. Oh, some of you guys might have might remember these. I made some of these little guys. Can't get there. He is. Oh, I went to this um, craft show, craft fair, that had these little eyes. And I, for the life of me, I don't know what I did with them. They're probably in my. Um, they're probably be in in my little box with all my little jewels, but aren't they cool little eyes? They look really great on fish. But oh, they're just so adorable. They're just a, they're another another option, you know, than doing googly eyes cuz these guys don't move. Totally love that. Yeah, that's really he's really cute. I'll have to bring him out and put him on a card. Oh, washi tape. Who makes their own washi tape? Chime in. Who who has or wants to or has done their own washi tape in the past? And if if you have, what did you use? Oh, good question. While I'm waiting for you guys to chime in about that, let me write this down. Dawn's damping thoughts. Dot. I'm not really sure. Let me just go to YouTube quick. If I can, if I can get there. There. 
and make sure I get this right. One of them is Dawn Stamping Thoughts. And I believe if you just type that into the little search bar in YouTube, you it will come up with her. She's got like this little shiny face, smiling face with these bright blue eyes. Oh, I hope I got that right. Blue, I think they're blue. Um, she is really cool. Okay, here we go. Yeah, just type in Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. And yeah, she has blue eyes with a big smiling face. Dawn's Stamping Thoughts, okay? So that's how you find her. And then Rosa is under Rosa Aquino. And I'll spell that for you. Rosa Aquino. So if you go to YouTube and type that in, you'll find her. <laughs> Jess. I buy washi tape too. I have lots of it, but I really, really like making my own. Oh, paper tape. Paper tape at the at the DT. I bought the paper tape at the DT. What's the DT? I it's I'm it's not coming to me. I should probably know exactly what that means. I made some washi tape. And I haven't used it. I can't remember if I did a video on it. I must have. And here's some of mine. I haven't colored in the cupcakes yet, but some of them I colored. Some of them I inked. Dollar Tree. Thank you, Teresa. So paper tape of the Dollar Tree. This was um, just plain old... Dollar Tree uh, masking tape with gesso over the top. If you don't have gesso, just use white paint. doesn't really matter. But see, then I went ahead and colored the flowers. You can color any of it, or you can just ink over the top of it with any of your inks. Anyway, I really like the cupcake one. I think that turned out cool. I have washi tape stamps from Stampin' No, close to my heart. Let's see if I have it out. I probably don't. It's probably put away in one of my boxes. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd show it to you, but they've got the cutest washi tape stamps. I adore them. So, Crystal, let me know if I answered your question. Did Were you able to find them on YouTube? Let me know. I went to the dollar store once, and I bought all the kind of different kinds of tapes they had. And I don't know, I must have decided that masking tape was just the route that I was most comfortable with. Because I can't, I don't know what I did with all that tape. It's probably in my tape drawer. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff down there. Did she? Rosa just did one? I'll have to check it out. I miss like everybody's all summer long because I, I was gone. Um, I was up north working, cleaning houses with my sister. Um, oh, there is another um, person, crafter that does stamps that I'd like to highlight. Okay, and her name is May May. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of her. May May, uh, Impressions by May May. And here are some of her stamps. That one kind of goes with this one. Her stamps are so cute and they're all so different and so fun. And she's got this, um, Oh, is Sandy here? Hi, Sandy. Um, 
Anyway, she has like a stamp, a, per, a purchasing club, a stamp purchasing club that is so affordable. I, it, and her, her business, business ethics and her uh, energy and just how she sells is, in, is incredible. I've been wanting to um, just really give her a shout out for a long time. She even has this set that's all in Spanish and it's all labeled on the back so you don't forget what they need. And Halloween sets. I don't do a lot of Halloween, but I like her Halloween set. So cute. A fall set. And I by, all, by no means have all of her sets. I just happen to have quite a few of them. I love, I love her stamps. This is one of the newest ones. Totally cool. I have been missing my craft room because I have been wanting to stamp with these and I just haven't had the time because I've been gone so much. Here's a question for y'all. Oil pastels. Um, have you used them? And if so, what for? I have a whole set of oil pastels. Pretty cool, huh? But I have never used them. They smell like oily crayons. And so if you've got any ideas or you want to see me mess around with those one day, <laughs> we'll check them out. Check them out. We'll see what they do. Uh, maybe I'll YouTube. Maybe I'll go on YouTube and see what everyone else is doing with them. Oh boy, we're at an hour. Are you getting bored yet? Oh, does she? I will look her up. I know I wa I watch the Frugal Crafter. I have I have her on on updates. Oil pastel. She has a lot of painting, and she's really good at it. She does amazing paintings. I I've never gotten into painting. I don't paint. Ever. I, I could, but I just, like, what would I do with all my paintings? <laughs> I make cards, and those are hard enough to store. I can't imagine having to store every painting I, I would create. I actually, I did one, I wouldn't call it a painting. It's a, um, it's on a, I don't know what you call it. Let me grab it. Oh, I have gelatos. Those are fun. Oh, I also have, um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I forgot. Let me show you that other thing. I made this. So it's not really a painting, but I colored her. And then I did some stamping and some painting on the back, in the background. Kind of cool. That was a free image. Oh, let me think of who gave that. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Anyway, survivor. My friend is a cancer survivor. I uh, I am also, which prompted me to make this. Thought it turned out really cool. Saturated canary. I could be wrong, but I think that's where she came from, and I think.
she's still free. She's just one of their free images, saturated canary. I, that's my best guess. And that was done, that was done on a, what do you call it? It's a canvas, but it's not a big block canvas. It's one of those thin, see, I'm not a painter. I don't even know. I don't even have the jargon for that. Um, I don't know. Thanks for typing it, uh, Latin girl. She typed in saturated canary. So if you guys didn't know how to spell that or are wondering what, what exactly it was, <laughs> it's, it's in the, um, Okay, I, I was having some issues. I guess it cuts off after a while um, and then does another one. So let me know if you guys are still seeing me stream here. There, there must have been quite some time where I wasn't saying anything. You're probably wondering what the heck's going on. We're at like, you know, over an hour. So maybe that's why. I guess if you stay under an hour, you get it all in one. That makes sense. Yeah, an hour and 10. An hour and 10 minutes, I guess. Okay, all right, good. So, well, I think I'm gonna get off of here now, wrap this up. Just had a delay. Okay, good. Thanks for the feedback. That helps. Um, I'll get things organized and I'll either do another one later on today because this is so much fun, like having people around crafting with me. How cool. Thanks for joining me, everyone who did. I I didn't even think there'd be anybody here besides Rosa and I. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, give you just a minute here because I know there's lag time for everyone to say goodbye. And then... I will either, like I said, do another one later on this afternoon and give you a heads up on as to what I'm going to be doing, or um, I'll I'll get things ready for next week and we'll do another one on probably on Sunday. So let me know if you want, you know, if you want to vote. I don't know if you can just put, um, if you can just, I don't know what happens to this chat thing. <laughs> I think it just disappears forever so and after the video shuts down I don't know if there's a comment section underneath it I'm guessing there will be um, so what I'll do what I'll do is a heads up I guess it sends out a message if you're doing it right um, I'll do like a mini video out ahead of time and I think that automatically will like filter out a message Somehow, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, set up. I think you have to set up so that you get my um, notifications. And then you'll get the notification when, when it's on. I think that's how that works. Otherwise, the other place that I could post would be my Quality Crafts on Facebook um, group. I, I could probably post it in there. And I'm going to write that one down. It's all one word. It looks like that. Quality Crafts on Facebook. And if you join there, you'll definitely be added. There's 
no requirements to joining that Facebook thing. There's no swaps or card exchanges or none of that sort. All I do is I, I post um, videos and sometimes quotes and sometimes the Kate's cuttable freebie of the day. Um, and we just share, we just share, you know, freebie stuff and our own videos and our talents and that's it. There's no requirement. So if you want to join that one to get um, updates and to see uh, different artists and stuff, feel free. Stop by. You can hit the like button, but no comment at the bottom. I don't think there's a comment until after I like hang up and then it becomes an archived video. And then underneath there'll be um, comments as usual, I think. Um, and if that's the way it is, then you can leave your comments on there as to what you want to see in the next um, live feed, what what you want to see me do. So um, just to review, a couple of different things could be um, a moving card, like the, the triple tier um, slider, back different kind of backgrounds, um, ATC cards made with different printables, uh, something done with oil pastels. Um, watercolors of either ink tents or peerless. And then, oh, another really fun one would be, which I've seen tons of, um, is the... I don't even know where mine is. It's the printing plate. Oh, I can't, I'll have to look for that. But anyway, the printing plate, if you want to see me do prints with, with paint, those that's super fun. Okay, so bye guys. Thank you everyone for showing up. This was really cool for a first time. So um, I hope the next time will be uh, a little bit more content driven, a little bit more concise. And um, I hope everyone can still come. See you later.